Hello everyone and welcome to Nickrit. So I've decided to make a little chicken version of my little birdie. Super easy, super cute. I love how this turned out. In our last video, we turned the birdie into a duck. So it's pretty simple. I am going to be starting out with a base body of the birdie. If you've not seen that tutorial, it will be linked down below. Both left-handed and right-handed versions are available. All links are down in the description. Ducky is also linked down below. Bird is what we're gonna start off with. I'm using some nine millimeter eyes. Same things as before. I'm going to be using some white yarn. This one is sparkly, not that you can see it on camera. I don't know why. This is the normal non-sparkly and then this is the sparkly. I liked it because I thought it would be really cute to have a sparkly chicken, but you're also going to need some yellow. You can use either uh, the, I love this cotton. I have the white obviously for this and the white sparkle as well as the yellow for the nose. This is, I wanna say uh, Pipero, but over here, if you have a color that's similar enough to that for the I Love This Cotton, it would be the Curry and the Buttercup. Those are really nice and those are from Hobby Lobby exclusively. But for this video, we're not going to go over how to do the body. We're going to essentially just show you how to make the little cute comb. So I'm not gonna try to keep this uh, super duper long. For the comb, you're going to use 60 red, and I'm also gonna be using just the smallest amount of antique gold. You could use black, you could use gray, whatever you want your embroidery for your little uh, chicken feet to be. Uh, all right, let's go ahead and get started. For this, you're going to need the same gauge crochet hook as you did for your body. I'm just gonna keep it all consistent. I'm using my furls crochet hook. This is a 3.25 millimeter. I believe this is their Odyssey line. I'm an affiliate with them. So if you're interested in getting your own furls crochet hook, these are absolutely gorgeous. And I have loved them since long before becoming an affiliate. You can get the links for that down below. I believe we also have a coupon code. I'm not sure things are transitioning in March. So I'm not sure how all that's going on. Again, you're also going to need a darning needle as always, as well as just some scissors. If you've already made your chicken, then you already have the polyfill and all that. So let's go ahead and get started. All right. So to start, you're going to want to have your red yarn and we're going to create a slip knot. That's pretty much how I start all of my amigurumi, except this time we're not working in the round, we're just gonna work flat. So I've put my slip knot onto my crochet hook. I can center my hands on my camera, there we go. And we're going to chain seven. So one, two, trying to make your chains a little bit more loose. That way you know you can get back inside of them. Four, five, six, Seven. doesn't have to be dramatic. You can just kind of ease up your tension just ever so slightly. So here's what we're going to do. Essentially, when you're making your little comb, you're making a repetition of uh, single crochet three and slip stitch three times. We have seven stitches and what we're essentially going to do is we're going to skip our seventh chain that we created and we're going to go into the sixth one and the fifth one and that's where our repetition starts so we're going to single crochet three and slip stitch single crochet three slip stitch single crochet three and slip stitch that's essentially what the repetition is we just did the seventh chain so that we can kind of round it off and it looks a little bit better here's what i like to do though whenever i'm working with this i like to hide my tail a little bit more so what i like to do is i'm going to put my hook inside of my chain and then i'm going to take my tail and kind of drape it over it. I try to keep it so that there's, I can pull on it later and fix it up, but I'm going to work with it as if it is a piece of my uh, work essentially. And we're going to put single crochet three, one, two, three inside that sixth chain. And we're keeping our tail as if it is a piece of our work the entire time. I kind of keep it open a bit more that way I can pull on it later. And then I'm going to slip stitch. So now we're gonna go into our fourth chain and single crochet three. So one, two, all in the fourth chain and three in the fourth chain and then slip stitch into the third chain. Going backwards. And I'm gonna pull that a little bit more just to give it a little bit more. And we're gonna go on our last repetition where we single crochet three, one, two, 
three and slip stitch into that last chain. It might be a little tough. There we go. Oh, I split it. Let's get in there completely, please. There we go. And slip stitch. We're then going to take our tail and kind of tug on it lightly. And then I'm going to leave myself a nice long tail for sewing. I do the same thing for my start tail. That way, when I want to attach my comb, I can take my tail and on both sides I can make sure that they are secure. So here what we're going to do is we're going to take our comb and where you started, so you have your first six single crochet, what I like to do is try to make it so that I'm going through the center of that original six single crochet. And I like to go up and through centered like that. And then I pop it on and then I try to straighten it up a little bit. And then get rid of the fluff. There we go. I'm going to kind of hold that as straight as I can. And I'm going to sew it. So we're going to go through the front loop here. It's a really tight loop. I don't know why I made that so tight. Story of my life. There we go. And tug. I try to tug on it as I go. And then we're going to go through that. Trying to keep it straight as we can. And I'm just going to go back and forth and sew this on. And then I'll show you how we do our little feet. It's super duper easy. As soon as I get this on, I'll show you how I do the little embroidery of their feet. I essentially just go back and forth and try to center it as best I can. All right, so now we have our comb all attached and all of our tails hidden. I kind of just pushed in and made it so that they're all nice and hidden and inside the body. And what I like to do here is what I really like for the feet is we're going to center our little three step embroider underneath and what i'm going to do is i'm going to take my darning needle and kind of stab it through centered underneath the eye just slightly wherever i want the little foot to pop out i'm going to pull that and leave a decently long tail that way if it needs to be pulled in more it can be and I'm going to take my darning needle and I want it to kind of end right around here. No, I want it to end right here. I'm going to pop over here and that's where I want the next start to go. So I'm going to pop that way like that. Then I want this to go like that. So I'm going to go back into the very first part where I started and pop it out where I want the next part of my foot to go. I'm trying to make it as even as possible. Then we go back through there and I'm going to try to pop my darning needle through where I wanted to start on the other side. I'm going to actually go through the center like that and that brings it so that it will be a nice even foot. I try to make it as even as I can. As you can tell, this one was not the most even, but hey, they're chicken feet. They're not the most glamorous of uh, appendages for the chicken. And so I'm going to again do the same thing on the other side like that. And then I'm going to pop it up this way, trying to make it even for the most part. Actually, I kind of want that above that just to make it a little bit bigger. There we go. Let's try to play with that just a tad more. Yeah, that's better. And then we're going to do the same thing over here, right there, I think. Like that. Am I happy with that? No, I'm not. I'm going to go up a little bit more just to make it so that it's a bit higher. There we go. That works much better. We're going to go back through the center and pull it through. Pull, 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 pull it through the back. Like so. I think those feet came out much better than the last ones. And what I like to do when I do embroidery like this, most of the time I'll do it whenever I'm not stuffed and I'm still open. And I'll kind of tie them off on the back. But if I don't, I'm going to just kind of plop it through at two different angles and hope for the best, basically. I'm going to take this tail that I started out with and going to put it through. Going to, going to put it through the back like so and then I just cut it off and there you have your chicken so right here is what I mean you can still see the tail through it if you kind of squish it though it'll plop right back into your little 
chicken basically so let me know what you guys would like to see i've started dubbing these the little chubby baby animals or just like the little chubby animals let me know what you'd like to see i'm actually working on a little frog i'm gonna put a little smile on his face i'm doing a big old batch of fabric painting them i'm working on that as well as a reversible octopus let me know what you guys would like to see in the future this one reverses and it makes a little frowny face versus reversing it makes a little happy face i'm gonna show how to do it with worsted weight yarn that way you can see the stitches you can't really see the stitches when it comes to velvet yarn but it's super cute and i love how they turned out let me know what you'd like to see in the future i already have a pig in the works as well as of course this frog they're super cute and i love how these little chubby animals are turning out let me know what you'd like to see in the future we have a patreon we have all the different things free patterns access to tutorials we have a discord again more draft patterns if you're interested in seeing what we're going to be putting out in the future thank you again for watching be sure to like and subscribe and hit the little bell before you leave if you would like to see more videos like this until next time guys bye